welcome along and welcome back to Oak Hill. Uh, we are once again at the side of field 61, watching our cedar this time getting to work on this field. So that's uh, that's good. That's going to get that right into there. Today we need to concentrate on getting uh, our fields for canola ready. And I'm a little bit torn in which fields to do canola with uh we are going to be working in this tractor so our 70 uh 76 15 i think it is yeah 76 15 uh we're going to take this up to where soybeans were planted previously so we're definitely going to put stuff in that field uh we're also going to be putting stuff in one of our uh, grain crop fields down the bottom uh because we we need to be able to do it that way as well we need to split those up otherwise we're gonna have potatoes everywhere um and this is the thing at the moment uh, we still need to get the canola in. We still need to get the potatoes in. Uh, and then we've got uh, next game day opening up is our planting window for the sunflowers, I think it is. Um, and then we've got the corn and the... Oh, stop. Uh, and then we've got the corn and the soybeans opening up after that. So we'll just pop... Once we get round here to field 31, uh, we will just uh, pop into there and check exactly what we have opening up into here. And this is our fields around this side here. It's quite a long way around. I did consider turning these into meadow land, but uh, I think we're all right with that at the moment. Let's have a look under our seasons menu here. So we've got potatoes, soybeans, and potatoes uh we've got our window open for now it's soybeans corn and sunflowers uh so the sunflowers opens tomorrow and then the soybeans and corn doesn't open till day seven so hopefully we're going to be in a good position look at this i can't believe the window for barley is about to close and that is uh, a little bit mad so we are going to get this uh up on here and uh, and get this done this was previously soybeans this field uh we can show this here so field 31 was previously soybeans i think we're probably going to do 74 as canola as well uh and that then just opens things up for us a little bit um 62 and 32 i'm considering again considering meadowland for this because this is all silty clay up here uh, it's it's all fields that we uh, we're not very easily able to work let's get this open and we're going to use the GPS on here right so set this first one and this is the first time actually this series that we've got into working a uh, working a field properly I'll turn that up and set our first point yep here and as we go along here we can then set our second and our width and oh no so here's where the issue comes in so why have you done that bring it up show me the lines And go back. And yeah, you can see the uh, with the offset and everything, we're wrong. So we'll bring it across. And there we go. So now, if I go on it, we're all lined up. Perfect. So that has got this started. And we can turn those lines off now. Like so. And back. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, we need to, to sort of sort this out. I think we have create fields turned on, which is not a bad thing for here. I want to sort of do this a little bit for this. Keep ourselves right up to the hedge here. Uh, but uh, let's oh, turn that. Get ourselves back on the next line and all good. Um, But it's... Uh, 
it's really a question of do we want to have these silty clay fields uh, running with crop or do we want to have them with grass seeing as our two grass fields are such strong loam fields and I don't know to be honest it's a question I'm finding difficult to answer because I'm not sure that we are in that position where it's 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 going to have that much effect especially in our first year our first year we're going from potatoes to soybeans is a uh, 1.2 uh, difference is a, is a 1.2 boost to our um, crop so we're not going to notice it so much uh, here we might going from the soybeans to the canola I'm just wanting to get this redone because I think yeah now that I'm actually on the right track uh, it's doing it a bit better which is good uh, but yeah, it's 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 you know, do we want all of this? Uh, do we want to be using these four fields of silter clay and they're not very big fields at the end of the day So uh, I don't know. I'm I kind of what do you guys think? What do you think that we should be doing? Uh, stuff with These fields as grass or do you think we should continue with them as? Uh, as they are and leave our grass fields to give us actually probably quite a big yield of grass three times a year there is that as well so uh yeah we'll see where we go with that from there at the moment uh, i'm going to continue as i have with my grass fields being my grass fields and uh my uh arable fields being my arable fields i think it's mid-morning and we are coming to the end of field 31. This plow has performed really, really well. I'm so, I'm so, so pleased that I went for a six furrow plow. Uh, three meters width is making a massive difference to how quickly we're getting through this field. I mean, yeah, we started, I think we started about three hours ago in game. Uh, and even at 10 times, we've, you know, we've got this done by the middle of the morning. It's looking really, really good for the possibility of us getting our canola planted on both fields today. Where is our other tractor? I think, our, yeah, our other tractor looking at it is doing the headlands. So that will be able to transfer over to here almost as soon as we get this field finished which is great and what i might do to vary things a little bit uh we can do the planting in this field as well and get this field uh, or get this tractor down the bottom uh doing the plowing in the other field that we want to plant uh we've not got many feet well we're gonna be nearly halfway through our fields uh by the end of this game day hopefully uh we're gonna have to as far as plowing goes we should be not many left i think we've got maybe got two three left so we're gonna be getting uh planting done uh fairly rapidly after this especially as we're gonna be looking at getting potatoes in next game day so that is gonna be a case of all right we want to get this done turn here uh, like so uh especially as we're going to be looking at getting um uh, yeah the potatoes done and and that means we'll be able to get both tractors on the planting which is where we want to be really uh if we can get uh, this doing the potato planting and the 6600 or the 6613 doing the uh doing the other planting that means that we're going to get four more fields done very very quickly and uh and in a very good way uh as a result and uh and yeah that that just means that we'll have to we'll finally be able to do some day skipping i think because we will be in a position where we'll have everything planted by maybe mid springtime that would be that would be a uh, massive goal something that we uh, we really want to get done because if we can get that done we're then in the position where everything is uh, 
everything is planted and sorted and we can just work on getting some grass work done bringing in some money and offsetting this four thousand pound a day in uh, equipment rental that we currently got um and that 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 would be absolutely brilliant uh but this headland is going pretty well as well so let's get the last bit done See if we can actually keep the furrows in the field would be good. Uh, but yes, yeah, at three meters, this is proving to be a very, very useful piece of kit, this plow. Uh, it is chomping through fields very fast. And uh, and we're in a position where we're looking at, um, at having everything planted well within time, which is brilliant. Our final row to plow and we are done on this field absolutely brilliant can that fold in no nope, we need to switch it over and bring it around our other tractor hasn't finished the other field yet but that is not the end of the world yeah to get the canola in yeah canola and potatoes are the two things that we can still plant at the moment so if we can get this finished with planting potatoes uh to planting doing it the plowing today that would go a long way to getting us uh where we want to be potatoes still have quite a big window uh we can uh, we can attack them next game day and probably most of mid spring uh these fields at the top here, that one and uh, the one on the other side, I think are probably going to be our next targets. Uh, they both connect to our farm more than the, the two fields that are around the back here. And, uh, and would work quite well. My only worry is they may end up being fairly big silty clay fields. So we need to, uh, we need to keep an eye out for that. This tractor though, we need to take it down and out this way. I want to get it down the bottom of field 116. The entrance to which... Oh, we got some rain coming in. The entrance to which I think is down here. Yeah, there is a road down that way, but this all connects up. Uh, we want field 74 as our next field. So that is just down here and isn't actually accessible from this part of the farm. You need to... Oh, no, it is. It is. There is actually a gap in the hedge. There we go. I thought it was accessible by the road, but no, you can get at it from here. So that's perfect. Let's bring up course play and get that done on this field. So course generation field 74. Starting direction automatic. Uh, headlands, as always, we do three clockwise up downs, turn and generate. Now, I normally set this actually to three meters because the thing is, it, it makes sure we get less of an issue and that should do it. So, where is our start point? Look at that. Start and end points again, right next to each other. Which is absolutely brilliant. So we'll turn off that. Open that up. First waypoint. Drive course. And away our plough goes. We'll let that uh, get on with doing this field. Meanwhile, up here at field 61, we are coming to the last row on this field. Absolutely perfect timing here from our 66, uh, 13, uh, 66, 14, sorry. Keep calling it 66, 13 and 66, 14. And, uh, and yeah, that is, uh, that has done a grand job getting this field done. And in fact, yeah, we've got no issues with any missed headlands or anything at all. It is just done. Right, so let's bring that up. Stop the driver and clear this course. And we can go and take this and get the other one done. Have we cleared that? We've not cleared that. Let's clear that course off because we don't need that anymore. 
Uh, and we'll head into the shed and get this. Uh, we want to get the rest of this rye emptied out and put back onto our pile. In fact, we don't have a pile, so that's fine. Uh, what we'll do... Trying to find a position where I'm not going to have stuff in the way. And I think that's going to be putting it in front of our low loader trailer there. Still not sure what to do about that. Of course, the, the 135 doesn't work with it. And uh, it's not going to be a good bale trailer, that. Uh, not bad for a transport trailer, I think. But we are going to have to go and take this tractor to it. That rain has cleared this tractor off rather nicely. Right, let's unload what we've got on here. There we go. And we need to go and get up. 135. Several people did point out last video. I started calling this a 315. Uh, that, yeah, that is absolutely my dyslexia kicking in and uh, muddling my numbers up. So I've got, to, I've got to keep saying 135 over and over. And maybe it'll stick this time. Uh, but we're going to put this onto there i think what will probably end up happening is we'll end up replacing this little tractor with a telehandler or something at some point in this series at the moment i'm just yeah it, it works a, a dream for us to have this little tractor about uh, allows us to move things about easily enough but I think at the end of the day, a telehander is, is probably going to be preferable as things progress. Which is not the end of the world, but it's just nice to have this about at the moment. Now, can we fit through here? Yes. We've actually got this working uh, pretty well at the moment. So, out with our rye seed. And uh, that has just been, that's been a nice level of seed from uh, the rye. If we do start uh, getting potatoes planted as well, we're going to have to go and get some potato seed. And that means probably having to switch the tractors, actually. And getting uh, the other tractor using this and uh, the potato planter going on the 6614 uh, uh, that is because we need the front loader to load up with uh, potato seed i don't know how much potato seed we're going to need is a problem so i think we're going to have to buy maybe a couple of pallets i can't see us using less than a couple of pallets um, and then going and grabbing more if we need to later. Let's see, where is our canola? I think that is the green bags. Yeah, that is the green bags. So let's drop this down and under. And if we pick this up and just bring this here, we can load it up. And we keep dry, we're keeping dry with this at the moment. There we go. Right. And refill that. We can take the course play screen off. And there we go. It's amazing. You could see as this was uh, unloading then, you could see the, the weight being lifted off this little Massey. Uh, it was quite quite amazing sight. Let's stop that. This is fully loaded up, so we'll cover this up again. And we're going to head back to the field that we were just doing. So that we can go and get this canola planted in there. Hoping if we can get everything planted by mid-spring, we can then start looking at getting everything uh, properly fertilized as well. Uh, which would be good. Uh, I don't know if we're... I, I'm probably going to avoid getting a potato planter which does fertilizing as well and uh, would, does the solid fertilizer as well and we'll basically we've got the time to go round and fertilize everything uh probably with a sprayer i'm thinking sprayer rather than solid fertilizer because the sprayer we've got more use for at the moment we can then hire something that will do ah oh, got spined 11 pounds uh, we're going to have to uh, 
to spread lime eventually, but we can hire a lime spreader for that period uh, and do that. Now, this field here, while we've plowed it going down the hill, and somebody said this in the comments last time, if you plow going down the hill, the water can run off the field. But then I'm very tempted to, well, I think seed it the other way. But it's kind of over the top of the hill, so no. I'm going to seed it the same way as I plowed it. Heck with it. There we go. Right, and I need to do... I want to keep it this way and keep it nice and square. So we've got a little area here we'll have to fill in. But that is all good. Let's turn on the GPS. Set our first GPS point if we are... Not quite where I want to be. 75 degrees is where I want to be, which is, yeah, there. So we'll set that as our first point. Turn everything on. There we go. Drop it down. And forward we go. And give it a little bit of distance. And then set it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn it on and <laughs> press the wrong button to set the EPS. Turn that back on. Put that down. And set it. And hopefully, now that will hold at 75. Apparently not. That seems to be wanting to hold at about 73, 72. Which actually, in all fairness, looks like that's what the actual... Uh, yeah, looks like that's what the um, plough went in at as well. So, yeah, not the end of the world. Just a little bit weird. So, let's get this field seeded and we can... Uh, and then we've got the canola in. Or we've got at least one of the sets of canola in today. Which would be great. Been such a wet start to our time here on uh, on Oak Hill. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, ra it's rained every single day so far. I don't know what our forecast is for the next few days. But it's, yeah, it, this rain has got to stop at some point. We can't do any grass work, really, uh, until we get past the rain. Because initially, it's going to be better for us to sell hay bales, I think, than it is going to be to sell silage bales. Silage bales really come into it when we own a BGA. And at the moment, we uh, do not own a BGA. Um, and we don't have the money to buy one either. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing hay bales. And in order to do hay bales, we need for things to... Uh, well, we need for it to be dry. We can... Uh, it's the easiest thing for us is for this, the, the crop to be nice and dry. And if it's dry, what we'll be able to do then is just leave it to dry naturally itself. Otherwise, um, I've had issues trying to get stuff to dry um, with, uh, with Maze Plus. I don't know what it is. Uh, it could just be the map because it was it was northern coast. As you guys have probably seen, Eddie has had such trouble making any hay uh, on the northern coast. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm not sure why it is that uh, that that's been such a problem because I've not had it as such a problem elsewhere. Uh, but I'm a little bit worried about that on here if we're if we're going to be putting all of our uh, grass making uh, stuff into that kind of uh, area. So, uh, yeah. It's a little bit worrying from that point of view. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll have a play around with it. We'll experiment. We'll see if we can be a little bit educational on to how it all works. Um, and, uh, and go from there. We, though, are coming to the end of this field. Uh, we've almost got all the canola in here, uh, which means we are three for three uh, on this series so far. Three fields, uh, three days in, three fields planted, uh, which is great. Uh, it's actually meant we've caught up a little bit because, of course, at the end of the last video uh, and the start of this one, uh, we were still getting that field of rye in. 
uh, on I think field 61 uh, so yeah really good to have, uh, have completed that and uh, and got this in a much better position now we want to get this other field of canola in as well which might mean switching things over uh, we know we have one of our potato fields already plowed and ready I think the other yeah the other one that I want to do is potato field that is not plowed yet um, and needs to be in order for us to plant because I don't think the either potato or any of the potato seeders actually are direct seeders so we need to sort that and make sure that's good so it's going to be a little bit of musical tractors next time I think as we try and get things in the right place um, and make sure that we're working as optimally as possible uh, in order to get the potatoes working this though it is yeah it's coming up to four in the afternoon at the moment and we are almost done with this i wonder how our plow is getting on down the far end in getting the next field ready for planting canola uh, because yeah that's the other thing that needs to go in as soon as possible as well um uh, followed as i said by our potatoes but if we're doing canola and potatoes next time uh, then that would be good that is gonna make things go so much faster uh, from that point of view so let's just finish off this headland uh, which should do very nicely wow this field has gone well today it is one of our smaller ones admittedly but it has uh, the crop has gone into it pretty well And we are going to be nicely done on here. There we go. Old field potatoes beside us. How wide will this go? Can we get all of this? I'm not sure we can. It's close enough. I'm not going to waste any more seed. Uh, double seeding that very thin strip at the end. So let's turn it all off. Like so bring ourselves around and we'll take this back to the yard because well we, we can go actually we'll go round by the road the other way and we'll go and see how our plow is doing down the bottom so yeah these two fields are accessible from here the this field here is only accessible so 66 is only accessible from around here as well and i believe there's a gap uh, here, yeah, so there's a gap there you can get in as well uh, But no access from our main farm and then Down the bottom here. We've got 73 which is accessible Round the side of 74 where you don't have to go on the main road You do have to pop out of our farm gate a little bit, but it's still accessible from the main road Speed cameras everywhere on this map uh, There it is so how's that doing? That is leaving a few little bits, but looks like that's on the headland to me. Yep. In fact, is he on the last headland? Yeah, he's on the last headland. That's even better. So, uh, yeah, it's left a few bits and, and spots in here, uh, but nothing that our, our Parahara can't handle. Um, although I'd like to clear them up because obviously this is going to cause a drop in yield in those places otherwise uh that's really good it looks like we'll have that field plowed uh and we can get seeding it next time uh we will be able to hit the potatoes next time as well then uh and get those set up so that's this is going to be a case of switching over this seeder i think to that uh 77 15. Uh, and then we can put the front loader on this and go and get ourselves some potatoes, some seed potatoes and bring them back. And then it might be a case of switching over again after that. Uh, because I don't know if this tractor is going to have enough power to, to seed the potatoes. Uh, but we want to get those into here, into field 63 next time. 
and that will then sort that. Uh, but I'm going to go and part this up because this is uh, done and dusted. We will leave this in this shed here. And park it up. Drop it down. Right, so... Off with the engine. And we're all good. Oh, let's turn our lights and our beacons off as well. There we go. So that is where we are going to leave it for today. I will bring the plow back in a minute when it's finished. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.